Hey what's up guys, Grenader here, welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you how to make the intro that you just saw, so no BS, let's get right to it, this is After Effects CC, so if you want to go ahead and download the trial, be my guest, it's in the description down below, and go ahead and try this with me, or if you already have it, just follow along, so this is the intro here, so it's made up of a bunch of shapes, and fills and gradients here and then your your logo so um the the what you can do here it just kind of depends on what you want to do this is kind of what i did but obviously you can tweak this to do whatever you want to do use your creative mind here and so as you can see here it's just a bunch of shapes going across the screen and then finally um the logo comes up and my logo is literally just um a le the letter g with you know a fancy text on it if you're wondering what text it is it's called super carver font and it's right here um, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested but uh, let's get on to the tutorials so go ahead and go file new uh, project and let's get this thing out of here and then I guess don't save so start a new composition uh, make sure that every that you put the settings that you want I like to do 1080p 60 so go ahead and do that and then we're gonna start with a background so go ahead and do layer new and do a solid and then it just doesn't matter what color it is and then go to effect go to let's see I guess fill would work as well but I want to go ahead and go to generate go down to gradient ramp and I like to do gradients I think it's a little bit more professional looking so I did a radial ramp and then now I'm going to change the uh, start of the ramp a little lower so that way the gradient starts from the middle and so just pick your colors and obviously you know do the same color but lighter or darker so I think that looks just fine um, and so now we're gonna go ahead and add the shapes um, so if your After Effects is kind of slow go ahead and lower this to like half or maybe a third and that's what I'm gonna do just so that my computer runs a bit smoother and then we're gonna go ahead and add another layer so we're going to do a solid, we're going to do OK, and then now here comes the, the hard part. So the hard part is setting up the layer. So once you set it up, you just copy and paste, copy and paste. So uh, let's go ahead and start with this. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out just a tad. So that's fine right there. We're going to hit R on the keyboard, rotate to 45 degrees. So you can do negative 45. Um, that's good enough. And then we're going to bring this down here to this corner, this uh, bottom right corner. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click the little stopwatch here, click P or hit P on the keyboard, click the, uh, the stopwatch, hit S for scale, and then hit the stopwatch as well. So what we just did is just keyframed everything. So this is how we're going to uh, set up. And so just go ahead and scoot up just a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stretch this like that sideways and then we're just kind of going to move this this way and that way like that. So if you go ahead and play this, it's going to go like that. And so that's pretty much it. Now what you can do is you can do this you can down hit the little down tab here and then just select all this stuff you just made and hit F9 and that's going to help you in the in the long run because everything is just gonna um, smoothen out so it's called easy ease so you want to easy ease your keyframes and so uh, go ahead and play this just to see what it looks like and it looks very slow and sluggish so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these last two keyframes which were the changes we made and I'm just gonna bring them in tighter right there so let's see what that looks like boom looks better a little faster let's see what this looks like boom okay I like that but just a tiny smidge faster because keep in mind these are transitions that you want to occur fast because your intro should be maybe like 10 seconds so yeah that looks good so what we're going to do now is you're going to put your timeline um, head here in the middle of the keyframe. So just like that. And then you're going to do um, control eight or I mean command eight. And that will leave a marker. And so go ahead and zoom out like that. And then you can go ahead and close this down. 
and so we have the color white here um, if you don't want that color and I'm assuming you don't want the same color repeating you're gonna come up here to where it says effect you're gonna go to generate and then you're gonna click on fill and so now you can choose whatever color you want to put there I'm still gonna keep the white for now and then what I'm gonna do is um, the following so just zoom in a little bit hit command D or control D on the keyboard and then hit the little um, uh, what do you call it the bracket and then it'll look like that it'll the bracket will move the clip exactly where it needs to be where the time head is so if you leave it you see how that just kind of flows so you have the keyframe here and it meets here and then another one starts here so click on the second one that's on top so white solid number two and then go ahead and change the fill on that uh, let's go ahead and do a different color um, let's see like a green I guess I guess you know this is up to you at this point um, so as you can see I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit I made a little mistake and so I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that so as you can see there's some white down here and you want to make sure your cursor is all the way at the beginning so at zero zero and just pull that sucker down like that and then that should fix it and then boom that comes up and as you can see yeah we got the shapes going so go ahead and play it and yeah that looks pretty good so what you want to do from this point is just add as many as you want so we're gonna do command D or control D hit the little bracket in that way you don't even have to hit the bracket but the bracket just helps and makes everything much easier and then like I said this is the easy part from here because from here you just make sure that you're you selected the solid that's on top and then go ahead and change the color to whatever you want and let's see boom boom and then boom over here and then go ahead and do command D again oh okay so here's a little mistake as well so I wasn't the my cursor or what was selected here was a fill not the solid so go ahead and delete that make sure your solid is selected then command D or control D hit the little bracket and then go ahead and start changing the colors again um, I'm just gonna speed this up because it's just you know repetitive work here so give me one second All right, so for the sake of the video, I went, in, I went ahead and stopped there. Um, you can do as many as you want, and the more you have, I think the cooler it looks. It just boom, 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 all these solids come out. And so the solids came out, right? And so what you want to do at this point is you want to select the top and hold shift and select the bottom part. Don't select the background, just all the solids that are moving at the moment. And hit command shift D or control shift D and hit that and then just hit delete. And then you have these stair steps right here. So boom, 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 boom. You got all these solids coming at you like that. Beautiful. So now what you want to do is you want to um, you want the stairs to descend. So as you can see here, the stairs are going up. Now you want the stairs to go down. And once they come down, it'll reveal your logo. So let's go ahead and select all of these again and just hit um, Command D. You hit command D, you want to right click, you want to go to time, and you want to do time reverse layer. And now what you want to do is select one at a time. So start from the top, and then you might want to zoom in a little bit for this, and then just bring it out like that. So you just want to make sure that the playheads look just like this. So you're making a pyramid at this point just like that and like that so now when you play through it we're just gonna play through it one more time it'll look like that like that like that like that and like that and like that boom 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 and boom so this is what you got and everything is easy eased again so all this should look smooth and then what you want to do is the logo reveal. So at this bottom layer here, this last stair step, 
you want to go ahead and insert your logo, whether that be a picture. So you're going to do control I or command I and you're going to import your logo. Or in my case, I'm just going to add my logo and it's so freaking easy. That's why I think that it's just easier to make your logo um, out of a text, you know. So just do that. Select that super carver. Um, my logo is white. So it looks like that. And what I'm going to do is hit command shift D to chop it. They didn't chop. There we go. Chop it and then make sure that the layer of your logo is underneath the last stair step. So when the last stair step goes away, your logo is revealed. So boom, beautiful, right? So in my case, my logo is messed up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit A for the anchor point, And I'm just going to move the anchor point right dab smack in the middle right there and so when the last stair step finishes up your logo is revealed and it looks awesome right so at this point you can end the video because you're basically done but I mean this looks kinda of bland it's just static it's just there so what I'm gonna do is add some motion to it so uh, I'm gonna start with the scale I'm going to downscale to 80%. So 80%, hit the little stopwatch, and I'm going to just go a couple of seconds um, in front. And I'm going to come back to 100. So hit 100, and it comes back to 100. And then a couple of more uh, frames in front, I'm just going to go super crazy and boom, just blow up the whole screen, just like that. And because it's going from 100 to 7,000, uh, you might need to adjust right here. So let's see what this looks like. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. And um, I'm going to go ahead and bring the render time back. So this, uh, I forgot what it's called. This thing, the work end area. So this uh, basically highlights what you want to be rendered and shown. So just go ahead and bring that back. And then let's just hit play and let it render out real quick. So boom, 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 you got all these things coming at you, and the logo, and then boom, just in your face. Look at that. Awesome. Yep. So that looks awesome, but to put the cherry on top, go ahead and select everything. So Control A or Command A, and you're going to see these little uh, circles here. So this is the motion blur. So go ahead and enable the motion blur, and let's close all this up. And then let's just see what it looks like. So it has to render because you just added something different to the timeline. But once it renders, it should look pretty, pretty dope. So as you can see, the logo is actually moving very slowly, but then it just bounces at you. So boom, 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 boom. Logo's there in your face. So that looks awesome, in my opinion. I think this is a pretty cool logo. And just add your Alley A music, and boom, you got yourself a beautiful, beautiful intro for you to post. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. And if you have any questions, ask me in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want, and I'll go ahead and post it. So see you guys next video. Bye. <laughs>